Hello, I'm Grant Gibbs, and welcome to Dateline. Tonight on Dateline, we focus on the African wild ass, primarily located in northeastern Africa. Now, this species is endangered. There are fewer than 600 in the world. Let's take a closer look. The scientific name for the African wild ass is Equus africanus. It is 6 feet long and 4 to 5 feet tall, and it weighs 500 pounds. The body shape is similar to that of a donkey, and it has a silver gray coat, can also be reddish and brown. And its legs have black and white stripes, similar to that of a zebra. Now that you know some details on the subject, I thought it'd be a good idea to invite a true nature buff into the studio. His name is Quinn Honeycutt, and he's dedicated his entire life to the wild ass. I think the kids are doing that these days. You know, I was just wondering if you could give us, you know, like a more in-depth description on the, uh, the animal. You know, maybe something geographically? Um, the African wild ass is located in northeastern Africa, countries like Djibouti and Ethiopia. Oh, very cool. What's yeah. the climate like in these areas? Uh, very dry, dry. desert-like. Okay, so semi-arid grasslands. Exactly. Too. Okay. Now, living in the desert, uh, what is their water situation? Um, they live actually, they like to live by water sources. Oh, very cool. But um, they only need to take, I guess, one intake of water per three days. Oh, wow. That's impressive. So, yeah. I can't do that. You not, I can't do that. Neither can I. So, our primary focus being on the fact that they are an endangered species, what is the, you know, cause of this endangerment? Uh, primarily hunters and poachers. Uh, they actually take them and sell them for uh, like their body parts, muscles, for uh, medicinal reasons. So I know their population is decreasing fairly quickly, um, but what is their current population? Uh, it's a little less than uh, 600 actually, and there's about 100 in uh, captivity, like in zoos. So you know, you being such an avid researcher uh, on the topic, have you ever actually been out in the field, you know, out to uh, Africa to observe these animals? Never have, but I do own an African wild ass. You, yeah. you own? Uh, my daughter, she wanted one, and uh, you know, she really wanted a pony actually, but I saw the African wild ass, they're pretty cheap, so I got it for That's, her. You're, you're part of the problem. Well, aside from that conversation, are there any other, you know, reasons that these animals are becoming endangered? Yeah, there actually is. Um, the African wild ass is, has to compete with livestock, usually from farms around Africa. And the livestock usually beat them out because there's so many. Um, are there any conservation efforts, you know, being portrayed to help save these animals? Yeah, there's uh, various parks and natural reserves uh, to protect the na African wild asses from uh, competing with livestock and stuff like that. Well, Quint, thanks for coming in, man. Hope you had a good time. Yeah, uh, hopefully we'll see you back here. Thank but, uh, you. Thanks for coming. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Sit tight. We'll be right back with a special guest right after these messages. Ladies and gentlemen, before the break, we promised you a special guest, and I'm very happy to announce the special guest as our very own, flown all the way out here from Africa, the actual African wild ass. So I was, I was you know, a little bit nervous about having you on the show. You had to, you had to show up three hours late, so. Oh, oh yeah, because I can drive, right? Well, I, I apologize, man. I'm sorry. No hard feelings. Alrighty. Well, um, you know, why don't we just get on? Why don't you just, uh, you know, announce your name to the viewers? Matt Kelvington. All right, so Matt, I understand you're a born and raised Ethiopian African wild ass. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm from northeastern Ethiopia. 
I have a very long tail. I'm single and ready to mingle, and I'm 24 years old. Very cool. That's pretty old for you guys. How long do you usually live? Like 30. Do you get, do you get like a senior discount? So, Matt, aside from your age, I understand you're single and ready to mingle. Um, do you have any messages for the ladies who are watching? What did you just say? Do you have any messages? A message? Me? You want me to give a message to the African wild ass viewers? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? How, how could we watch TV? How could I turn on a TV? Where do you get off? I, you don't have to be so mean. Dude. You're being so condescending, I can't take you it. You don't, just calm, right, calm down. This calm. is, stop, I'm not a piece of meat. This isn't a petting zoo. So, speaking of meat, um, what does your diet consist of? I'm a generalist, so it's sparks, grasses, leaves. Secondary consumer, shout out to all the secondary consumers out there. Shout out, shout out to you guys. Did I, did I do that right? You know, I was actually very curious on how mating works. Uh, how does that actually, you know, occur? Okay, well, me and the crew find the best spot, come in, take that spot, beat out the other wild asses, and all the ladies come flocking. They just come, they just come flocking? Come flocking. So you're saying you go in and you fight the other wild asses for that territory, and the more territory you obtain, the more women you attract. Or female wild asses. So we know you're in danger. Um, but how is it personally affecting you? Like, what are your outside forces and how are they truly harming you? Hunters. Hunters come. Poachers come. They come, kill us, shoot us, cut off our limbs, take all our desirable parts, sell them to the black market illegally. Because we got our government boys looking out for us with some laws. Of course, yeah. And then we compete with the livestock for our grass, bark, leaves, you name it, for all the food. Half the time they beat us out because there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. And then we all die because we starve. Except for this dude. I'm going to starve. I'm still alive. Yeah, and the livestock seem to be on your level. Remember, don't hate the player. Hate the game. The game? What is the game? How is, how is my survival a game? Apparently, my life is a game. You look athletic. I, I know I've been offending you a uh, majority of this interview, and I, I have no intentions. I, I really am grateful for you coming in today and you know sharing your story with the viewers. No, no you lose. I lose what? Y you lose. This, you're a terrible person. You're ridiculously offensive. I don't need this. None of, we don't need this. You know? I'm a poet. You were very rude. Well, I am an ass. A wild ass.